Hi there, this is a disclaimer. Uh, what I'm doing is my opinion on product reviews and everything. It's my opinion, my thoughts, how I feel about the product, how I feel about the item. Nobody paid me to do any product reviews. No one's paid me to give my opinion. No one gave me anything for free. So, here we go. Hi there, we're going to do a product review of the electronic fence light. It's a EFL. Uh, I bought these uh, off the internet. I uh, actually bought them off of eBay. I bought one LED and I bought one um, flash tube style. So we're going to do two different things. I didn't realize that I was going to do a product review on them and until I decided to. And what I did temporarily, I took this unit. I'm going to hook it up different than they say to hook it up. This one right here, I hooked up, put alligator clips on the end. This is so I can do experiments with it. So I can put the light on my fence and then go down my fence and clip it and figure out where I want to put it before I physically attach this thing. So this is already ready to go. So I modified those wires. This one here I'm going to wire totally different. Uh, that one's basically what they recommend. I took the knocker off, cut that off. That's the arc gap, because you can't hook this directly. If you do, you blow this tube instantly. I'm going to put this in series of my line. And I cut the end off. I put some extra insulation on this red wire because it's going right where the uh, fence energizer is located. is going there. And the way this works is that every time the energizer clicks on, it gives a little glow. It's not really that bright. And if anything shorts out to it, this gets extremely bright. And that shows that something's shorting against your fence. That's my theory of what I'm going to try to do. Don't mean it exactly works that way. So we're going to have to hook this up today. And then at nighttime, I have to go back out and show you how this works. Because with the camera out in the Florida sunlight, uh, this one's going to be hard to see anyway until you short it out and then you will be able to see. If I can do it in the daytime, great. It eliminates some of the chances of me getting the crap knocked out of me. So this is going to be the evalu evaluation of both of these. Okay, here's the charger. The output is here and it goes over to the switch here. There's a switch. We're going to take this off here and we're going to put this wired to this. You got to make sure that you hook this up in series. I'll take this off too to get that off. Okay, so here is the light. This is the one with the Nixie tube. I'm going to take the red wire here. We're going to run the red wire to the energizer. In this direction. So just threading it through the box here. going to run the red wire to the energizer as soon as I get it all fed through all the holes I already had pre-drilled. Ah, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, barely long enough. As long as it fits. So take the red wire. I know that's black because I added a little extension on it. So I'm going to make a little hook on this so it goes around it. This 
so the red wire goes here. Now the black wire, which is here, my uh, switch broke here. So the only thing I'm going to do is just put it on the contact and just shove it on for now. Okay, so the ground wire goes out to the fence. That's how good China switches are. Broke on me. For temporary, I'm just going to put one screw on the light while I'm doing the testing. That just holds it in place for right now. I have to come back out and finish it. Okay, now we're going to hook it back up to the battery. As you can see, they're just a, it's just a little dim in here. It's flashing. Now, the problem is you might not see it because of the shutter speed of the camera is much faster than this flash. But it is flashing and it's very dim, which is supposed to be. This will get much brighter if something shorts out onto the fence uh, when this happens. That's how this is made. Okay, temporarily, we're going to put it on this pole. Now, on the clicker itself, let me move up. On the clicker itself, see that gap in between there? Make sure it has a gap. Uh, usually about 40 thousandths or so will be fine uh, to make sure it works. If you get it too close, if that shorts out and you hook it up, you blow the light bulb. You got to remember that. So you hook it up here. This we're just going to clip onto the hot side and this side we're going to hook it to the ground. That goes to a ground rod. Now we got to go turn the electric back on. So now we're okay next thing we're going to hook the power back up. This should be a little brighter. Okay probably a little brighter than it was okay now we're gonna go down and check the LED see if you can see it okay there's the LED as you can see it's blinking I'll probably have to adjust that a little more on the gap you can hear the clicking going on click 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 and the lights flashing so you know it's working simulate a short on the fence I turn the electric off first I'm going to just hook it to the ground rod or the ground wire which is here and then I'm just going to take this jumper wire and hook it up here to the electric wire so now this is grounded right here, no problem. So that's a hard ground, it actually going to my ground rod. It goes somewhere at the ground rod. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna hook up the fence in energizer and this should be much brighter than it was before. See? hard to see in the daytime but it is brighter now it's a little dimmer now we're going to go down to the other light and it shouldn't be working at all okay we're down to the other one as you can see 
no longer clicking and no light so that means this one goes dead when something's shorting it out so now you, we know it's shorted out because that's brighter this don't work so something's shorting out my fence wire and I'll have to go figure out what it is it's called a jumper wire I just put on okay here's my jumper wire I'm going to get off I didn't turn it off so I hope I don't get zapped yeah it made it okay now that one should be on down here again and this one here should be dim again yeah this one's on it's not as bright as it was you can hear the clicker working and the LED works if it doesn't work at every one that you want to this is fine with me as long as I see a flash once in a while you can adjust that clicker a little closer the arc part and it won't work more reliable just make sure that you don't touch those together if you do you'll blow the bulb okay that's how I hooked mine up I'll do some more pictures, couple more for the night time. But I'll tell you right now, I am satisfied with the product. Seems like it works for what I need to know. Because I had somebody coming over turning my switches off and they forget to turn them back on. So then I don't have electric fence out here and I got, uh, well I got about 25 acres with cows in it. And they're all in separate batches. So that means I have no electric for none when that happens. That's why I needed the light. So at midnight when I walk back into the house, I look out and I can see if the electric fence are on or not. So I'll do a couple more pictures right after this comment. And that would be the nighttime version. And that's it. Okay, what we got, this is at nighttime. This light's flashing, and then that one down there, which is the LED, is flashing too. Now, I just learned the other video we did in the daytime, you might not see the flash, because the camera's faster than the flash, so I'm not sure if you can see it or not. It's flashing. Now I'm going to go over here and shut the short the fence out and see how bright this gets. So I got an alligator clip. I'm going to short the top out. As long as it don't get me too bad. Hopefully that got brighter. The one in the back, as you can tell, doesn't function anymore. So that one's off. That one got brighter because it's shorted. So it tells me that one's shorted. Now if you take it off, it went a little dimmer. Not by much, but it did. There, it's dimmer than it was. So that's how I got mine hooked up. So I got two lights hooked up that way. So this is going to be the conclusion of this video. Uh, it worked out. It wasn't uh, the brightness change, which was a little more than it is. But it worked out just fine. Um, I do recommend both of these lights. Um, the LED seems to be, works pretty good. The other strobe is much definitely brighter at night. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. When you get a chance, if you would please subscribe to my channel. That would help us out. Thank you.